your head because I surely would you bald ass Daisy Duke looking bitch. Do people know to stop putting their hands on me? Because once you touch me, it's on like Donkey Kong. Everybody always wants to scream my name and put me in. That's why I'm on the phone with you with the doors closed. I'm not defending no mother no more. Clearly, I didn't care I was on the phone. It should have been you that I fought. Can you hear it? They're arguing. They're fighting for you? Yeah. See what happens when Shar ain't around? Get beat up and sound. Shut the hell up, bro. All right. Ashley, tell me what your real beef with Corey was. You punched her. We're cute. We have the same kind of style. We got the same body frame. I thought that we would, you know, kick it off and be good friends, but that's just not how it was, and now I see why. She just Corey, didn't like me the whole time. Were you jealous of Ashley and that some people might have thought she was prettier than you? Well, no, it's not that. It's that I was, like, the blonde, big boob, like, skinny in the house. That's... That was my look, that's how I came into the house, that's how I wanted it to stay. You will never hear me saying, like, I'm the prettiest girl, I never wanted to run the house, I never thought that I was the prettiest girl. It's the bad girls club, it's not a bad girls pageant. Corey, why do you think Ashley has such a hard time getting along with women? I mean, I don't know. Maybe some people portray her as being about her looks, and they don't get to know her. You get and... to see it firsthand, like the yeah. reaction from Char, yeah. and the, what Corey said about yeah. me not being hot, I'm cute. Like, right, that's how right, girls right. actually yeah, treat me. Exactly. It's not my fault if I look better than you. you should I can't help God. it. You should thank God. Thank God for what? If she looks better than me, I give praise to God. But you Girl. didn't say, you said that I was not cute. What do you mean? Like, are, are what are we you talking talk, about? I mean, are you senile? Ashley, are you more you're than old your looks? You're senile. Okay, thank you. I mean, I, you I don't know why she's disappointed in me. Every clip, she's calling me a grandma and saying how much she doesn't like me, but she's right underneath That's me. That's not my Every fault. Every single you're time. A I think she's they're mad that the show is about me. Let nobody Ashley cares. speak. Yeah, nobody cares what you have to say. If they did if they did don't put your hands on me. Roll me on me. Are you scared? Don't put your hands on me. I'd be think, scared if as I were someone you. like me, do you think I live my life worrying about what people think about me? Yes, that's why you were so calculating on the show. I don't think I was if calculating. If you weren't so calculating, you would have done things very you differently. You did all that very you, consciously. You're, you you know care so feeling. much what everybody else Honestly, thinks. Honestly, I don't. Shara, you are not a saint. I, I, you're I, the saint. I never said I was a saint. I never said... I never All said right. I was the same. Come right. on. Moving yeah. ahead, it's time to discuss another one of the departed divas of season six. Before Ashley punched out, one bad girl had the rest of her roommates seeing red. This curvy vixen packed her bags and disappeared into the San Francisco night, never to cause drama again. Until now, that is. Give a raucous welcome to the sexy siren, Sydney. I've heard it all before. I'm a slut. I'm a whore. I f around. I get it. Try it. If anybody wants to speak to me and have harsh words, prepare to get your ass beat. Hello. How are you? Oh, yeah. Wearing gold. I love I know, it. We're matching. You're looking good. So you've had some time away from the show, and you haven't seen some of the girls. Is there any tension? Is there anybody that you just were not looking forward to seeing today, Sydney? Oh, well, you're staring in that direction. <laughs> well, it, it, did you take a wild guess? You're not funny. Sydney, I had such high hopes for you, but you left the show. Not I once, did. but twice. I did. Mm -hmm. Why? I regret, you know, what I did, but in my state of mind, I just, I needed somebody that wanted to be here. And, like, but I wanted to give that experience to someone. That's the one thing she that's said. Good right, up, I want to take a look at what really went down between Char and Sydney. Let's have a look. Sydney's saying that her and Nikki have kind of been walking around and talking. I'm upset. You a goofy ass hoe. She gotta go. Don't tell me that. Go tell her that. I'm tired of being nice to you bitches. I run. You wanna try me? Try me. Ooh. Get your insecurities together. Insecure. No. I'm not done until I see you, bitch. She's got a lot of issues. I'm getting like a ticking time bomb. I'm done dealing with the bullshit in this house. It's stressful. It makes me angry every time I wake up in the morning. I have to deal with some kind of drama. I'm just done. I'm out of here. Sydney needs to understand life doesn't owe you anything. This is a hard thing to do. This is the Bad Girls Club. Sydney, why did you punk out and leave? In all honesty, my uncle really got He really did. He lost his leg. And whenever it came down to it, no reality TV show is going to be worth it. But you went back to the show after all that happened, and I then did. you left again. 
I came back and it seemed everybody was unhappy. Things had completely changed. I mean, completely changed 180. Shar, why do you think Sydney left the show? You know, I, I, I'm not, I don't know why Sydney left the show. I, I can only speak for myself. I just, tell I, her, but tell I, her why I, you say drunk, the drunk. She did have some crackhead tendencies, is what I said. <laughs> and I don't know if she does crack. I said crackhead tendencies. I've been, you know, I've had crack heads in my family and for her to just up and leave in the middle of the night and not get her things I was like that's were weird. you threatened by Sydney like yo no, like, I'm not do I really look like a crackhead like seriously I got you curves I got meat on my legs I got meat on my booty and in my titties like there is no <laughs> crack within this body my like, what was period. your question I don't remember I'm sorry were you threatened by Sydney no I'm not threatened by anybody and I think that's the problem She's I think a lot of people all. want to I'm every not threatened by anybody I just have a very strong body are you a hater no I'm not Hater. Well, how come not Hater. one of these girls likes you now? And Jess really had your back, and Corey really Why had your back. Of the show you had cares? friends on the show. I did, you're but right. She's fake I she's a hater. I, 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 I'm not going to sit here now, and I know what I did. I know how I felt. I said how I felt. You I have did. no. Okay, but these girls have a lot of animosity towards and you. And you right know now. what? I, Do you want to apologize? No, because I'm not. I, I, why would I? Apologize? Because you hurt it, them. But it Whether wasn't. you did it intentionally or not, no, they're you know what? clearly it's, it's, hurt. Shar, you are coming. Coming across as a heartless bitch. But you know what? Thank you. You are. But what I'm not saying is I'm not saying I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed. You were my favorite in the house, but, but at this reunion correct. special, no, you are not. Let me tell you something. Every time everyone Sorry. doesn't like me. How could you have done that to those girls? How could you do that? You that doesn't mean anything. Are you do it. You Yep, I did. I did. I did. I did. I walked out the doors as the head bitch in charge, and I'm. It's, it's a wrap. Like it's gonna go down in history. Is that? At the end of the day, I ran what I needed to run. It's done. It's a wrap. You did. You did.